Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today in this video, I'll tell you about unit step functions, right? So what are unit step function? Let us see the definition of a unit step function. So here you can see that in a unit step function, we are having a bold line from 0 to A and it is marking the line 0. And then from A onwards, you can see that the line has been marked parallel to X axis at the point Y equal to 1, right? Now, so how do we define a unit step function? A unit step function u t minus a, this is the notation for a unit step function. It is defined as u t minus a is 0 whenever t is less than a and whenever t is greater than or equal to a, the value is equal to 1, right? So now here if a point is 1, then this point will be marked as a equal to 1. If I take a equal to 2 here, then from a will be marked here 2 and so on. So whatever the value of a is given to us, accordingly we can define our function unit step function, right? Now let us see that what is the effect of unit step function when we multiply this along with any other function. So let us talk about the effects of unit step function. So here you can see the first graph tells about the graph of ft equal to 5 sine t. So here you can see that 5 is the amplitude of this graph. And it is a regular sine curve intersecting at the point 0 pi and 2 pi, right? Now, what happens when we multiply this function with the unit step function, say u t minus 2? Now, <clears throat> we have just defined that u t minus 2 will be 0 whenever t is less than 2. And it will be 1 whenever t is greater than 2. So, when I multiply f t, that is 5 sine t along with a unit step function, what will happen? You will get, now we will multiply this. So accordingly, this will become 0 whenever t is less than 2. And instead of 1, we will now get 5 sine t in the region t greater than 2, right? So here you can see that this point is 2. So before 2, everything is 0. So this has been marked with a dotted line. So you can see that this is the bold line. From 0 to 2, the function is taking value 0. And after 2, when t is greater than or equal to 2, it is behaving like 5 sine t. So you can see that sine t graph is drawn after that. Right? So what happens that when we multiply the unit step function along with the function f 5 sine t, this part becomes 0. So from 0 to 2, the function becomes 0. After 2, the behavior is same as 5 sine t. Right? Now, let us see that if we multiply, if we shift the function to t minus 2 in the function also, and then we multiply with the unit step function, then what is the effect? So, now what will be f of t minus 2? Let us see. f t is 5 sine t, so f of t minus 2 will be 5 sine t minus 2, right? Now, when we multiply 5 sine t minus 2 along with unit step function, so what is happening, the function is moving towards the right by two units, right? So the function has moved two units. So when I multiply this, it will become equal to zero whenever t is less than two. And it will be five sine t minus two whenever t is greater than equal to two. So till two, the function is zero. And after 2, the function is behaving like the graph of 5 sine t minus 2, right? So this is what happens when we multiply a unit step function along with a regular function or there is a change in that function, right? So I hope you understood the function, unit step function, what it is and what is its effect when you multiply it along with a regular function, right? Now, <clears throat> let us see what happens. If you want to develop a unit step function, any function in terms of a unit step function, right? So we are given a function ft as f1t where t lies between 0 and a and it is f2t whenever t is greater than a. So if I have to write this function in, te in terms of unit step function, how will I write it? We'll write this function as ft equal to f1t plus f2t minus f1t multiplied by ut minus a. How is it possible? Let us see. Let us first take the region 0 less than t less than a, right? 
Now in this region, what is my U T minus A according to the definition of U T minus A? We know that U T minus A, this is zero <coughs> whenever T is less than A and it is one whenever T is greater than or equal to A. So U T minus A is zero in this region, zero less than T less than A. So what happens to this FT function? Let us substitute. FT is equal to F1 T. U T minus A is zero. So this term becomes zero. So we get FT is equal to F1 T. This is what we are getting in this region. Now let us take the second region when T is greater than equal to A. Right. When T is greater than equal to A, what will be my U T minus A? U T minus A is equal to one. So accordingly, what is this FT function? FT function will be F1 T plus put U T minus A equal to 1. So we get F2 T minus F1 T. So F1 T gets cancelled. What do we get? We get F2. So can you see that we have F2 2 in this region when T is greater than or equal to A, right? So if you have any function of this form or you can make any function of this form, you can always write that function in terms of unit step function as F1T plus F2T minus F1T and the changes at A. So we will multiply the unit step function UT minus A, right? So on this pattern, let us try to write this function in terms of unit step function. So how to write this function? <coughs> T less than 2 means we can write that 0 is less than t is less than 2. So according to this, we can write ft as within the region 0 less than t less than 2, it is 8 plus subtract 6 minus 8 is minus 2. We are having this at point 2. So let us multiply this with ut minus 2. So we get 8 minus 2 times ut minus so this becomes my function in terms of unit step function, right? So I hope you understood the meaning of unit step function and how do we write any given function in terms of unit step function, right? Now the next step is the evaluation of its Laplace transform. So now we are in a situation to understand what is a unit step function. Let us understand what is its Laplace. Now, to calculate the Laplace of ut minus a, we are using the definition of Laplace transform. It is 0 to infinity integral e raised to power minus st ut minus a into dt. Now, according to the definition of ut minus a, we can split it in the region 0 to a and a to infinity. So, in the region 0 to a, the integral is 0. So, this integral vanishes. In the second part, a to infinity, the, u, the value of ut minus a is 1. So we need to integrate e raised to power minus st. So we get e raised to power minus st upon minus s limits from a to infinity, right? So when we put down the limits and after solving it, you can check that the Laplace transform of a unit step function ut minus a comes out to be e raised to power minus as upon s, right? So this is a standard formula. So you should be knowing that the Laplace of any unit step function will be e raised to power minus a s upon s, right? Okay. So now let us move on to one of the questions. So you need to express the following function in terms of unit step function and then you need to find its Laplace transform, right? So this is the function given. So let us try to put this in a form that is that we have done just now. So write, let us write f of t as, so you can see that when we did this topic, the limits were from 0 to t then 0 less than t less than a. So it's not in that form. So can I write this as 0 when 0 is less than t is less than a, then it is e when a is less than t is less than b, and then it is 0 when t is greater than b, right? So I've just expanded this function. And now let us try to write this function in terms of unit step function. So the first one was just write F1T as it is. Now let's take the difference. What is the difference? It is E multiplied by U 
we have the common point as a so we have ut minus a then we take the difference again it is minus e and now the common point is b so it is multiplied by ut minus b right so we can take out e common from here and we can write it as ut minus a minus u t minus b. right now after we have expressed this function in terms of unit step function we need to evaluate its laplace transform so what is laplace of f of t so laplace of f of t becomes e is a constant function so we can write laplace of ut minus a minus ut minus b so now this is equal to e i can use the linearity property and i can write it as laplace of ut minus a minus laplace of ut minus b so now this is further equal to e times laplace of ut minus a will become e raised to power minus as upon s minus laplace of ut minus b will become e raised to power minus bs upon right so this becomes our final answer done so i hope the question is clear to all right so that's all so i hope you understood the unit step functions if you like the video do hit the like button and those of you who have not subscribed my channel do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video so believe in yourself and you will definitely succeed